Hello everyone, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an entire WordPress website with just one plugin. This is the easiest way that I have found to make a website, whether you're a developer and you want to get something up and running for a client really quick, or you're just working on your own website, this is the easiest way to do it. So here is a fresh WordPress install, it's an empty default WordPress installation. So we're going to go to the dashboard, and we're going to go to plugins and we're gonna add a new plugin, and that plugin is gonna be Astra Starter Sites. Uh, let's see if that loads up, here it is, so it's this one right here, and click Install, and click Activate, and this is the only plugin we're gonna to need to get started. Of course, you can add more if you need more, fe uh, more features in the future, but this will get your website up and running. So we're gonna click See Library, and this is gonna show us a bunch of templates and layouts um, so we can build our website really quickly. We can completely change them to make them whatever we want, but this will let us get the ball rolling right away. Then it says select a page builder, so whichever one you're most familiar with. I personally recommend Elementor. It has the most features, and for me at least, it's the easiest and fastest to work with, so we're going to choose that one. Then here it's going to show you a bunch of pre-made websites that are ready for you to install and use, and you can change them, so if it's not 100% exactly the same as your business, doesn't matter, you can install them, then you can replace the images and replace the text with stuff that has more to do uh, with with you. So we're gonna uh, go here to all and put um, free, just to see the free ones. All right, so these are all the free ones. And what I'm wanting to do is a, a store because my client is gonna have an e-commerce shop. So I want like a basic layout that I could have a shop with. Um, and we can see here they have a lot of different free ones. And even if it doesn't have a shop, you can add a shop to it through through a different plugin, so that's okay as well. Um, but some of these actually already come with a shop pre-installed in it, so that's even better because it's really quick. All right, so we're scrolling through here. I'm trying to see if I find a nice one. Uh, just a layout that I like. The pictures doesn't have to be exactly the same because we can change the pictures later. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, I like this one. Uh, he's gonna sell pet products after all. This is a um, like a like a pet car wash kind of thing. That's not what he's gonna do. He's gonna sell pet products, but a lot of the images match because they're pictures of pets, and the design is pretty good. So all I have to do is replace the text and add a shop, which is super easy. Uh, so these are all the pages that it comes with. It comes with your homepage, your about us, services, and contact us. So really all I would need to do is add a plugin like WooCommerce to add a shop and that's it, I would have a my shop website ready to go. So we're gonna click here, import complete website. And uh, we're gonna install the, th it's gonna install the theme for us, install the settings, import any widgets and install uh, all the content and all the plugins for us. It's gonna do all of that for us. We're gonna click import. And then we're gonna give it a couple of minutes um, depending on the speed of your computer and your internet access, it might take a little bit longer, uh, up to 10 minutes. If you see that it takes longer than 10 or 20 minutes, uh, it might be a good idea to close out and try again. And that might mean that it got stuck. Uh, but here we are almost done. It's about almost 80%. And once this finishes downloading, it's going to have our whole website ready to go. Uh, so here it says that the import was successfully finished and we can click here to view our website. And if you remember, we had a, a default plain website and now we have a website with a title and pictures and images already in there. Um, all this content, social media links that we can update, we can replace all of this content, we can replace these backgrounds. Uh, all the plugins have been installed for us already, all the settings have been done for us already. So we have a full website ready to go. Now, if you want to customize it and make it your own, it's super simple. They've already installed Elementor, since that's the page builder that we chose. We're just going to click Edit with Elementor, and that's going to let us um, change any kind of text or image we have on this website. So, for example, because he's going to sell pet products, instead of saying uh, Pet Care and Pet Services in New York, we can actually change that. So, we would just click right here on the little Edit Pencil, or on the section, and here is the text. So instead of having uh, pet care services, we can uh, write what our website is going to be about. So in this case, he sells uh, pet products. So for example, I could write um, the best products to make your pets, whoops, pets happy. Um, 
and then we can change the title to we love our pets uh, we can change this text here as well um, maybe we don't need a phone number we can have something like shop today and then maybe here we'll write a little description uh, we'll leave that empty for now we can edit this title this title this description this button we can uh, uh, for example um, shop now and we can link to a shop page so we'll create that later um, but we'll link to a shop page um, if you need to delete anything you can just right click on the little editor and click delete if you want to remove um, let's say a section that you don't really need you can just delete like that if you want to replace an image same thing you click on the little pencil here's the image and you can upload a file from your computer um, or you can select from your media library and even uh, you also have an option here where it says free images from Pixabay. This is new. Um, if it doesn't show this, maybe they removed it. Maybe they're just testing it. I'm not 100% sure. But it actually lets you source uh, free pictures from Pixabay.com without actually having to leave your website. So I can click here and I can put dog and I can find a new picture of a puppy. So let's say I like, uh, let's see, this is cute. Let's get that one and put uh, save and insert. And we didn't even have to look for a picture. We don't have to worry if the picture is copyrighted or not, or if we're allowed to use it or not, or if it's gonna look too blurry. We have a professional image right from our website without having to leave anywhere. Um, if you need to change colors, you can do that as well. That's under style. So here are all the colors. So you can pick any color that you want. Um, so pretty much any button that you click on, you can go to style and you have the fonts here. Where are the colors button out oh, here? Text colors and background colors. So you can choose the background color and you can choose the text color as well. That looks really crazy, but you can pick whatever colors you want. If you make a mistake, there's an undo button right here at the bottom under history. And you can just go back as many steps as you need. I'll just go there and you click update to save your changes. So you can customize any page of your website super easily. When you're done, you click this little eyeball to preview your website. Uh, and you can close out of any extra tabs at that point. But what if you change your mind and you don't like this layout? You want to try something else. You figured out that maybe you don't like the colors or you want to find a website that is about something else. Super easy. We just go back to the dashboard. We go uh, back here to plugins. And then we're going to, these are all the plugins that got loaded in automatically. So we're going to go back to the library. And we can just search for something different. So they have e-commerce and we want it to be free. So this is if you want the shop to be pre-made instead of you having to add the shop. Um, and let's say that we like this one and we want to try this one instead. This one has uh, three pages plus the shop. So we would uh, click import complete site. And then uh, it should give us an option here, delete previously imported site. So if you don't uh, click this, it's going to keep all the other pages just like deactivated um, but they're still going to be there uh, or you can click delete and it will just erase all that extra stuff and just put brand new ones so we're going to delete those um, in case like you change your mind and you don't like them anymore and we're going to click import again so now it's going to go ahead and remove here we see it's installing woocommerce so it's installing and activating all those plugins and this plugin installs them and activates them faster than if you had to like search for them and install them yourself so it's a really quick way to add all the plugins that you would add in anyways. Um, so we can see it's about 56% done. And I use this plugin all the time uh, for my customers. Even if I can't find a template that is similar to what they want, just because this plugin installs everything and creates the pages and creates the menu and does all the things that I would have to do one step at a time anyways, um, I like using it for that reason. All the settings are there and then the design, I can just go in and change the design to whatever the client wants. Uh, all right, so it's finished. Let's click view site. And here it is. We completely changed our website in just one click and it looks super professional. We don't have to worry about uh, the design or anything. It's all done. If you want to edit the design, you can do it with Elementor. If I go to about, you can see that that page is there as well. If we go to contact, you can see that page is there as well with a really sleek contact form. If you go to the shop, 
Um, it even adds some demo products so that you can see what your shop is going to look like. And you can go in and delete these products and add in your own, but it just creates a demo so that you can see uh, what it's going to look like. But all the shop settings are already done for you. It creates an account for your customers to be able to pay and check out and do all those things. Super awesome. And like I said, if you want to edit a page, same thing. Just click edit with Elementor. It's going to pull up the editor. Um, I think you might need Elementor Pro to edit the shop page, um, but that's okay. That's not a big deal. Uh, about us, you can replace this text with whatever you want. You can add pictures. You can change the colors. You can come here in Elementor and drag and drop things in. Um, do you, know, you can still use the free images. Whatever you want. You can customize your website however you want in just a couple of seconds with one click. Uh, like I said guys, this is by far the easiest way I've ever seen to make a website and also the fastest. I hope this video helps you with uh, your websites and your work. Um, if you guys have any questions of how any of these work or you would like to work with me, feel free to leave me a comment or contact me on my website. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye.